back in the game. Three, two, one. Hey everybody, this is Bigwigs, and welcome back to Tomba! That's right, Tomba, sit quietly and listen while I speak. Last time we got the 100 year old man hut and uh, some good stuff happened. Well, now we came back out mainly to save. It's still safe, but we also have a few other things we need to come back and do. Specifically, we need the old man hut's uh, bell. If you don't know what the bell is, that's because I haven't explained it to you. We also gotta talk to Yan again. Hello, Yan. See, I told you, I hope the old coop was helpful. Yan of the Hidden Village. Who are you? Quest completed. He seems like a happy motherfucker. Is that his tongue sticking out? I like him a lot right now. So this man will challenge us to a game of hide and seek. He goes to hide places, and then we find him. Or basically, find him, is all I can say. And we'll actually swing across these ropes, because the thing we got last time is we got the 100 year old key. No! Fuck. Whatever. Your stinking key. We don't need your stinking key. Jump over the crotch biters. Actually, did I ever. Oh, did you get hit? Yeah, I crushed all those. Just want to check to make sure. But I shouldn't have anything over to do over there. There's a man over here, but I can actually animal jump over. That's a word I probably didn't make up, but it's, uh, it's useful. We also learned how to animal dash last episode. That's why we sparkle when we run. Now I wanted this chest right here, because now we can unlock chests. 100 year old bell. With that, press triangle to go to our inventory. Use item. Charity wings uh, basically bring us back to any place we've already been to. 100 year old bells, or bells in general, just bring you back to very specific areas. 100 year old bell, we use it, brings us back to the 100 year old man's hut. We fly away into the sky. Loading screen. And we just burst through his house, Kool Aid Man style, except we did it cooler than Kool Aid Man because we went through the ceiling. Yeah, let's see you top that Kool Aid Man. So we're coming back into this area now. We're doing a lot of things now. Now, 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 now. Those are my favorite areas for its music. Of course, I don't have audio still. So. Bleh. Bleh. No audio. We go across this rope, it's so bouncy and sprongy. Except it isn't. See? I can jump on it while it's going up and it doesn't do anything. But it's still pretty fun. We go over to this man. Ha! Yeah, Grug. Grub no glub, Grug. Yeah. He seems a little bit of a yeah, Tom is still like, yeah, I got you, man. Hey, wait a minute, I didn't understand his language. That was a dwarf. Uh, should we save here? Nah, we're gonna keep episode. Uh, we'll save at the very beginning, our very end of each episode. And so, one of the things you can do here is when you slide, anything show up? No. Come on. There we go. We get a leaf butterfly. I think we need like almost 30 of them here. And I actually might get them. Oh, God. Come on. Yeah. I think I'll fast forward through all this. Nom 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 Okay We think we have all the butterflies He thinks I have them We need 25 at this area We get a few more in a different area Way far away from now So yeah So you need to collect 25 in this area You can They respawn constantly unless you get 25 Till then they don't spawn at all Come down here Whee! Hello, sir. Look at the stab. Isn't this beautiful, Tomba? He's a little white-eyed, slightly not really looking at you stare. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, so, since this is a Tomba game, this game is about Tomba. Tomba is the main character. We're gonna solve this problem the way Tomba solves problems. If he doesn't understand somebody, he chomps the shit out of them. And we learn Dwarf Language Level 1. He had a little head nod there, like, yeah, I understood him. S you know, cries of terror. Just his leaves. There we go. Yeah. Hello, sir. Grug, grug. Question marks? Why did you bite me? We're just strangers. Yum, yum. Yeah, that's almost English. It's really impressive, isn't it? We just slide down here. We'll just climb the leaves. Beautiful, beautiful leaves. We just... Down to push. We don't really need help, so we'll just ignore that. So we'll come on y'all. This little... I know what these, these are, but you actually you can't really move in this area. Just... Hello? Hello? Trapped! 
Dread forever! My duplicate is a fine pickle we have here now. Let's check it out. But if we land on top of them, what the hell happen? See, that was just a, a little explanation. I'm bad at this part. I like jumping. Look, crush it all the way down. All of me clear soon ish? About why we're doing that? Actually, I'm lying. It's gonna be fucking million episodes from now. Talk to you again. This guy, he's not even questioning us anymore, but yeah, Toma gets it. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Jump. Yeah, he didn't say anything different. North Island's a three. And now we come to here. The Hall of the Dwarves. Except it's just their little piss ass village. It's got. It's gonna have nice music. There, there's the music. You see, all these people. We can't really understand them at all. But this is the town area. I told you this game had old school JRPG up. Our old school RPG elements. Yeah, town area. Good thing that I'm pressing square in a way to uh, run, because that's what the animal dash becomes in a town. Just a regular run. Which is like, I don't know. I've never I don't know if you actually still can do that in town without giving bananas to Charles. So it's an interesting idea. Let's continue on. Do it now with a big grunt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get some, get some. No one mess with the macho man. But then we got this guy here. I'm really worried about my friends. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Yay. I am now fluent in language. Via biting the shit out of somebody. Like a vampire of knowledge. Hello, sir. Wow, you can understand the dwarf language? We have a problem and don't know what to do. Now, he just saw me, like, maul some guy. Anyways, he was cast under a spell by the evil pigs. The flowers have wilted away and the trees have mutated. So they were, basically, doors are missing. They're being uh, attacked by giant spores. And I can't talk to the elder until they're all safe. So he's saying, hey, we're in trouble. Help us out, then you can go through. So, yeah. His excuse is the Elder's trying to think really hard about a way to fix this. So you can't see him because he's thinking really hard. But yeah, now we can run around. Talk to these people. There's a couple of the spores. Basically, these are all just little hints. Oh, he's talking about a little kid that's in his house. We'll find him too. This is a thousand year old chest, but this lady's going to be important later. I'm a doctor, so if you need to hurt yourself, come see me. <laughs> what am I doing? Going to do without the? Oh, hello. I guess I didn't notice you lock up. Well, we're supposed to pick up some quests here. She's trying to do the problem. She hid something very special in the forest, but she's afraid to go get it because of all the shit going down. It's very important to me. She doesn't know what she'll do without it. Actually, it didn't actually. We talked to her again. No, it didn't actually proc the quest. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I have to pick up the item first. And this room's empty until we put somebody in it. You mean a bit? No, he's just explaining what the door villages. We'll talk to you. Big blow at the moment. My friend at the other house will be able to tell you more about it. So, yeah, you know, just a bunch of stuff. Not a single dwarf has returned yet. Not a single fuck has been given yet. How about you? Yep. So basically, there's a small child out there, and we have to go rescue him. Because we're manly men. And also, we run on the ground like an animal. We're animal men. Who bites pigs and dwarves when we see them, and also butterflies. I have, like, 25 butterflies inside of my belly. Anyways, now pigs and spores have showed up, which is actually quite useful for me. I don't have to deal with any of this stuff. So, doors will be hidden in there now, too, and every time you release one, they'll come out of the way. So, I, there's a few doors in here. Oh, so it's like seven doors that I'm missing, so that's quite nice. We're gonna see if we can get a, a nice little person saved. I love it when it freezes Tomas like that. In the middle of swan dive mode. Aren't I beautiful? Just and we get a wooden boomerang, because there are multiple weapons in this game. And I'll show you that as soon as we get that. There we go. Press triangle. And I don't remember it taking this long to load, but uh, what can you do? Use I am wood boomerang. Boomerang. And now we press circle, we get a boomerang. That hits enemies twice, actually, so it's 
It's quite nice. And we can actually go into here now, I believe. The wharf. I think it's called. Maybe. Oh god, is my mic plugged in? It's plugged in! Kick ass! I had a problem with that in my Hearthstone video. I believe we look at this. Square. Wobbly wharf. And this is actually a quest you can miss entirely. Oh, it's a little puppy! The puppy is going to be our best friend later on in the game. When we come over here, you'll see a spiky barrel of doom. And you, we want to break the spikes out, which we just did. If we charge up our attack, then it actually breaks the barrel. Which isn't good. Ooh, things. You don't like things. You're weird, and weird means bad. What we want to do... We got these sporting explorers. These are awesome. Be oh, shit. You son of a bitch. This is actually a pig monster. Which is like, makes it all the more... Ooh, there's a man over here. Totally forgot he was there. Sorry, just, you know, jump around the sporing explorers. Son of a bitch! I could lose life here. I hope I don't. Wait, wait. Ooh, a bucket. Oh shit, I can't swim, so I just got... Am a wet! Wet's for losers! Something. Oh, I press square and I push it. Yeah, push, 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 push. Push it, push it. I want this to go all the way in here. Down there. Where the barrel rolls. If we swing on this, we can actually get up here real quick, which is nothing. Others are not you and you won't let us pass until they do. And I got one crystal ball as well. Also important. And if you can hear that, I'm sorry, my PS3 is dying. Because, if you've not seen the other episode, this game is on PlayStation 3 and it is being sold on the PlayStation Network for ten dollars. Fucking pigs! You damn dirty apes. Oh well, we'll forget that. We're dying a little bit too much. Come up here, the dog should be out here. Doge. And this guy, I think this is a child dwarf. We're a puppy breaking in the spores. Don't think he can get down. Can I get a thing from you? A. These are so useful. So, boom. We rescue the puppy. Hey. The puppy looks hurt. I kind of want to finish what we're doing here, but it's also if I get hurt, I think the dog runs away. Ah, whatever. We'll figure it out. Boo. Oh, the sound makes. Boo. I can't even hear the sound, and I've just memorized the sound. Okay, we're boomerang you. We're boomerang you. Three doors remaining. Somehow, I must have knocked over a thing with a pig. Ooh, how do I get water? I got a bucket, but I don't know how to get water yet. Look, big jump, jump, jump. You will match for mine. Oh, he was just up there. Oh shit! Oh, well, the, the dog. Okay. So he touched the fire. Oh well, there we go. Something's cooking. I know where the other two dwarves are too. They are not in the wobbly wolf. Or like that. We'll take this thing back to the village because it's this thing, this dog, this living animal, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure you want to go that far. But it... Yeah, we'll take it back to the doctor we just talked to. She'll say, "Oh, it's uh, I need the herbs." Actually, no. She says she takes care of it, and then she needs the herbs. And then you wait even longer. So I got two re remaining. Actually, can I get a bucket here? A bucket of water. Can't use this here. Nope. That's a jam. And basically, have one. Come on, can't. Baron. His name is Baron. A man's best friend. So now, there's going to be a series of quests after we wait a little bit. So basically, saying, you know, healing herbs will heal this dog really super quickly. And I'm not going to heal him otherwise because fuck you. Actually, will she heal? Will she heal us? 
No. She's a shit doctor. I liked her anyways. So, we got here. Actually, I know where to get a bucket. Yeah, get the water. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Well, I'm not an idiot. I just forgot. Leave me alone. These dancing pigs will make me feel better. Here, I think if we equip a bucket, because you can equip buckets in the Tomb universe. Oh, no, you can't. No. No. Fuck you. No bucket for you. Go inside here. Ooh, amazing. 3D graphics. Was it 1997 amazing? This place is called the Watchtower. No. Get off of there, you filthy thing. Also, don't land on me. I have not that much health. We got seesaws in this level. This is like a good seesaw. Also, I can climb a wall, so it's a, the seesaws are a little bit. Uh... Oh, that's right. I have to hit him twice. Or three times, and it just kills him instantly. Boomerang is so useful here. Also, enemies respawn if you just walk off screen. I think I can equip the bucket in this area. And Stan always drops a water and get me a water bucket. Why am I obsessed with buckets? Because I need a water bucket to put out that fire to get a, a, a thing. Okay. Don't. Don't. Don't judge me. Water coming from. See, so I think I just stand right here. Oh, come on, you son of a bitch. Come on, eh? Come on. Come on! One third of a bucket full. Do I just keep dropping here? Or is it just that it? You need to wait three spots to get water. I think I need to wait in like three different spots to get water. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. But you know what? Water is a viable resource. I guess, maybe. It's like there wasn't a friggin' wharf next to us or anything. Which implies water. And I don't think I can get it back up there for now. Unless I do something amazing. Yes. I don't know why I want to get up here, I just want to swing across that. And maybe get up there as well. Dang it! Oh, it's a chest I can't open. This is what I wanted. Whatever. Oh, son of a bitch. But, you know, we do that, and all dwarves will be rescued. Happy days for everyone. I think there's a spike pick down there. Maybe I'm mistaken. Toma doesn't care. He kills... He kills men like that for breakfast. Also, he eats murder. What's down here? Get out of here. I actually think there's a pair of pants down here. Ooh. Is there? There's a thing down here. Oh yeah, jumping pants. These pants give my, you know, make my quads stronger. So jumping pants. Let me jump higher. Ah, fuck. How would you know that? By reading the name. The jump pants. Hello. I've not returned yet. Bullshit, they have. I've returned every single one of them. All dwarfs saved. Ooh. Ooh. Same right here. Hey, water bucket. This bucket of water, but some weird translation thing. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> Son of bitches. There we go. There we go. I think we come over here. The child's over here. Woo <laughs> I can't get down. I was looking for flower seeds. No, I just want to go home. I love the face. It's an XD face. Why? Fine. Why are you don't stab me? Okay. Good. Fine. Keep going. Keep going. Uh. Uh. No! I don't like moving. I love the face. I'm a scared of shit out of this child. 
Also, I might die with him on my back, but that's fine. That's what I think what he would want, rather than actual me having to scream his ass off. I think... It's somewhere up here. Go right here and jump up there. And climb up here, we get... Telescope. Look and see. I completed a thing. Or maybe I didn't. There we go. I think we use the telescope right here, we get a little cutscene. Oh, nope, never mind. I'm, I'm just lying. Sorry. I didn't mean to lie. Take it on my butt. My butt. My butt. Now. No, not stairs! I'm fine. Attacking! I don't like attacking! Kids is a little whiny baby. We'll push this off. And it should do some crazy ass. There we go. That <laughs> thing didn't even care. It's like, yeah, just a fucking Tuesday. Flying through the. No, I want those. Fuck. Oh shit. Dirty mirror acquired. And two crystal balls acquired. That will be useful. Will be, trust me. It's just not right now. But now we have a child. We have all the dwarves. They're gonna have a nice little party here. So are the pigs. Uh, uh, yeah. Come at me, Brosif. Child comes over here. Super happy. Oh, I forgot to get the fire thing. I got some cheese though. Cheese. You saved my child. Here. Have some cheese. I did save all the doors, right? Yeah. Yay! Thank you. Oh, no, I sit through it here and them all say thank you. The Dwarf Elder is very pleased. You're so brave! God damn. <laughs> You've made the entire Dwarf Village happy. Also, I rescued Chad. May I shake your hand? No. I think we asked that, but there's like no animation. Uh, he thinks the pink hair is cool. There's no animation for shaking the hand, so it's basically no. You're a real local hero. I'm not from here. Maybe it just means in the local area I'm a hero. But we are going to use that water bucket on the f campfire. Because why not? Also, I don't want to have to come back to this area and do more quests. Oh, I like this area. I like this area a lot. But for the, the sake of the LP, let's sort of rush it a bit. Snap, snap, snap. Oh, we don't want to hit that fire. Whoa. Let's use the bucket of water real quickly. That fire is just... Just waiting for some awful, something awful to happen. Bucket to water. It floats magically. Baked yam! Now we can... GTFO! Get the funk out of here. I actually don't think there was an O in that sentence. Add a tear. Whatever. Don't make fun of me. We're playing Tomba. We got baked yam. That's what that lady wanted, by the way. Pretty. She wants baked yam. Oh, it's very important to me. I don't know what to do without it. At least I think she's the one that the baked yam. Baked yam. Yep. I ate a baked yam, and now I'm giving it back to her. <laughs> Wow, hey, you found it. Thank you so much. Gulp. It's coming now. Pull my finger. And think, you guys are here, but I won't. <laughs> Fart jokes. But when you take this, I'm holding on. So it's just a random item after she's farted on me. And it's Vitality Max plus one acquired. So I now have five health instead of four health. Do I have to use that? Ah, I shouldn't. I don't see it. R1. No. Some filthy normal pants. We've got jumping pants now. God. Get on my level, you guys. Look at that. Look at that swagger. Ugh. That four pack. Because it's not really rendered properly. I shouldn't say properly. It's a PlayStation 1 game. It looks really good for a PlayStation 1 game. 
We're loading. No wonder the PS3 can't handle it. We'll talk to this man. Save the villagers. So go ahead. You have gotten spores. You should go talk to him. The spores are crazy weird. I don't like. So this is the dwarf elder. I am the dwarf elder. Clear. Two thousand points. If you have everyone in this village, I want to thank you for saving our friends and family. As you see, our villagers don't have much. Hundred old man, that you are looking for the evil pigs. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. And he gives us the blue evil pig bag. That's the way bosses work in this game, because there are bosses, even though this is primarily like a sort of adventure platforming game. The 100 Flower Force. That's what we are, by the way. These, these are all supposed to be flowers. Cast a spell. Take it. Help the evil pigs. When, you've, when you're near the pig's hideout, the bag will reveal the evil pig gate, the entrance to his hideout. But remember, the evil pigs do not hide in the places where they have cast their evil spells. So this is what's going to happen. When most of the areas we come to are come across are cursed. So th there'll be like storms and you know hauntedness and fire and ice and all this weird stuff. And each area where there's cursed, there'll be an evil pig bag. If we find the evil pig bag, then somewhere, somewhere in the game, there will be a pig gate that will reveal itself when we get near it. And that's where the boss will be. It sounds really complicated and confusing, like, what happens if you just don't find it? But it's, uh, it's pretty... I know where they all are, pretty much. So we need seven evil pig bags to get rid of the seven evil pigs. Be careful, you must not underestimate the power of the evil pigs. There's no need to guard... No need to guard the deep forest anymore. You may pass as you please. Try Phoenix Mountain. And I don't like Phoenix Mountain. The Phoenix Mountain. Rise of the Phoenix. But anyways, that will be it for this video. We have talked to the dwarf elder. We have the blue evil pig bag, and we've explained evil pig bags. By the way, boss music in this game is the best music. <laughs> so anyway, look, there there might be a few more people we can talk to, like your tent in the fire. That's my job. Can't let it go out. We all die. Hey, yeah, it's. That'll be it. We'll, we'll stop it right there. That's a good enough thing. We've done the entire 100 Flower Forest. I mean, not the entire, but for now, we've done it. There's going to be more stuff here later, because uh, villages are, tend to be quite quest. Yeah, there, there's a lot of shit to do. There's a lot of people to do stuff for. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and... Goodbye. Let's save. Level three somehow. Before we do that, actually, let's make sure we're not recording. Stopping.